Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. Today I'm going to be taking a mega blinked omen into the abyss. So this is a tech one bog standard cruiser, the omen, but it's fitted with absolute mega bling. If you see here, go here in the in the fitting tab, everything is bling. Dark blood, copum A type, A type, multi-spectrum dark blood. <laughs> the purified large cap battery for Federation Navy dark, but everything this and then I've got the full pod with the high grade Asclepians and <laughs> the whole thing including my pod cost of I think it was 7 bill if we go here and before yeah 7.21 bill you can see here the in the electrical sites we're going to be trying this in the electrical sites we get 483 DPS tank and my goal here is to try to get this to do T5 so I'll just put this disclaimer right now. This is not at all supposed to be like a practical thing. If it is not, was not obvious. The thing is, I have done many of these tests before. And even though I think it's obvious, I've got people saying that, oh, Ace Face, this is not at all practical. This is not, why are you doing this? You're wasting your time. The point is, I want to see what's possible. I want to see if I can, because that for me is fun in itself. So let's get into it. The first thing I'll be starting with is the Fierce Electrical. We're going to start here. Then we're going to go up to the T4. If we finish T4, we're going to go to T5. I think we're going to finish T4 quite easily. T5 though, I don't know. Let's see about that. <laughs> All right, let's go for the T3. The main point of the T3 is more so that I get a bit of, because I'm not uh, used to using the Omen in the Abyss, because I've actually not used the Omen a whole lot in the Abyss. And I think it would be actually good just to get a bit of like so-called training before we take on the high tier filaments. We've got the dual rep, got crazy amounts of tank with the reactive. We've got a bunch of red people outside. Hmm. hmm. The people in the because we're in the test server, obviously. Yeah, we're in the test server. I'm not obviously going to do this on tranquility. That would be just dumb of me. Okay. Put this in DPS. We're using augmented drones. The augmented drones are really expensive. Each one costs like twenty something mil. Really crazy expensive. And I'm using this Sarum skin here because I think it looks a bit elegant. Like the Paladin skin is the the Sarum one, the natural skin of the Paladin, you know, the Tech 2 battleship, the Marauder of the Ma, and I just think that skin feels like a kind of Tech 2 sort of ship, and this ship is so powerful, it's not, I don't even consider this to be almost like a Tech 1 cruiser anymore, it's like a Tech 2 cruiser now, now, by default now. Okay, go into Fierce Electrical, let's see how this goes. The thing I'm thinking is that maybe that could kill me is, one, is this Charybdis Tyrone is doing crazy amounts of wrecking shots, or A, getting Newtony out, because the thing is, It'll be harder to get neutered out as an armor repair ship than a shield boosting ship because you don't have to worry about the orange clouds. The orange clouds make it so that the shield boosters use more power. You don't have to think about that here. There is a yellow cloud that can actually make armor repairs a lot worse, but they're a lot rarer and they're a lot easier to avoid because of how they're very tiny. The orange clouds can be a lot bigger. So this, is, this looks very easy. Okay, let's go for the scorch and start shooting. How was our range here? 23 kilometers. So we've not got the best range either. But we can just get a bit closer. Cruise in with afterburner. Not that fast though. I thought it'd be a bit faster considering we're using an A type 10 M. Okay, let's start shooting this guy over here and actually attack with our drones as well just to speed stuff up as well. I think, and I also there's something I was saying that I worry about is time. Time I think can be an issue as well because if time is not good, then you can obviously die. I've not got the best amount of DPS. I've got like. Was that 500 something DPS? So it's not the best amount of DPS. See, so yeah, our armor just boosted up straight away. The thing is, even though we had 480 DPS tank, you have to remember that we've got our reactive armor hardener. So even though I say that, you know, you should have maybe like uh, 600 DPS tank for T5, it could maybe be that we will be able to survive because we've got the reactive armor hardener that will adapt over time. It'll adapt over time and we'll be doing more tank or we'll be tanking more. Okay, let's see. What's our range on the comp flag? Okay, not the best. Let's use Imperial Navy. It's got a bit of better tracking. Imperial Navy does a bit less damage than the comp flag. Significantly less damage, but it also has very good tracking. So that's something you have to remember. Okay, go to turn back towards the drones because we're getting a bit too far away from them. A little bit too fast for these guys. And I'm not going to bother taking the loot. That's not the point of this. The point is to see if we can actually complete the site. And the test server doesn't really matter anyway. The thing I think it'll be really cool is to say, you know what? I completed a T5 in an omen. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and then in the small print, yeah, it was worth seven bill as well. <laughs> okay, let's go and shoot this guy here. This almost done. This is very fast, very fast. Uh, they went for my drones. I didn't want to have them attack my drones because we've only got one set of drones. So that's the problem. If we've got only one set, then every drone lost is going to 
permanently make our damage less throughout the whole size. That's why when you've got only one set of drones, you want to be extra careful. It's not like gear, right? Ten sets of two, or not ten sets, five sets of uh, medium drones. It's just insane how you don't even have to care about think about this like, i never have to think about that when i'm using my gear then you've got the omen on the other hand or other ships with just one set of the drone oof it's a different ball game the ishtar as well and the vex navy issue are ships that use drones and they have got a very big drone bay as well so it's good as well you've got a lot of backup drones in case you lose some but unfortunately with this laser boat right here it's not the case it honestly doesn't really matter as much as well as those drone boats like the Gila, Ishtar and Vex Navy issue because those ships rely mostly on their drones for DPS this one relies mostly on its guns but it's still annoying to have to lose permanent DPS throughout the whole site okay let's go switch over to Scorch because when we go in there we'll probably want to start shooting at long range in the beginning because we're going to be far away I thought the range was going to be a bit longer I thought it, I hoped it would have him be the 40 kilometer range in the Scorch but you know it's pulses so can't expect too much from this okay got some more frigates here these are just sleep frigates I wonder these guys they what, what do they think they're gonna do they think you're gonna do oh, the, the mighty omen the mighty omen is gonna wreck you okay start shooting them let's see where's our EM resist we've got quite low EM resistance got quite high kinetic because we adapted to those drones who were we were facing before let's use our imperial navy now because they're getting a bit closer and we'll start webifying them as well to just to get a bit extra deep oh they went down very quickly yeah please use imperial navy okay wreck this guy wreck this guy <laughs> you sleeper drones you have no chance against the mighty sarum omen the mega blinged omen okay, go back a bit it's not like a heavy assault cruiser where you got uh, assault damage control that's a bit of an unfortunate thing you know i i wish i had a assault damage control that i could use a bit of have a bit of extra buffer in case stuff will go bad actually something i need to be doing is focusing on new newts because if there was like this is obviously the t3 so it's not going to be that big of a deal but if there was if it was like a higher tier t4 t5 and there's a lot of neuters i could be in trouble i mean we've not got the best capacitor we've got stable capacitor but we've not got the best capacitor so i have to think about that if we just uh, start shooting this i'll show you in the fitting fitting tab we can see here only 3.4 gigajoules a second spare so it's not at all a lot you know in in the abyss you want to usually just have like a very plentiful capacitor i don't have any hard numbers but 10 gigajoules or more seems to be a pretty good number to be honest like if i see that i'll feel like oh that's good i'll feel comfortable with that if there's stuff like this three gigajoules over then that's not so good you can get easily neutered out by that because the new things thing they stack on top of each other they'll make your they'll make your capacitor gradually less and less and less worse the more of them they are so you don't want to have that happening because if you run out of power then or capacitor then you will not tank anything that's one of the downsides to active tank ships on the other hand active tank ships are quite it's not too hard to get, get maintain the capacitor but the, that is one of the downsides of the active tank ships that you have to worry about them having running out of capacitor completely nullifying all your all your tank capabilities Let's go for this Scorch over here because this guy is tanking me like crazy or kiting me like crazy. Actually, let's go for the Escort because I think the AI is that if there's no these Lucid, these Lucid Preservers, they what they do is they heal the other ships like the Escorts. And if there are no Escorts on the grid or other ships for them to heal, they will then just stay at zero. They'll stop and stay still, I think. And I think that's what they're doing right now. They're, they're looking to see here. They're a lot closer now, I think. Or oh, they're actually just moving, I think, a little bit. Another thing I had to think about was the Deviant Water Smart to suppress over there. You know, I don't want to keep my drones out. They're, they're an unbonus medium drones. So they're going to take a lot of damage from the Deviant Water Smart Suppressor. At least it's not light drones, but you know, this it's going to take a lot of damage and something we don't want to have to deal with in case <laughs> we lose a drone. Permanent reduction in DPS is not nice. Okay, destroy this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, Webify this guy. And actually, we can go back towards the gate now. We can start shooting. We'll, by the time we get back to the gate, he'll already be dead. The reason I used an afterburn was I really didn't have any spit fitting space to spare. There's no after, and then also the capacitor as well. Capacitor would be horrible if I had an MWD. That's a bit of a thing as well. Often I have this plus ten like a stable capacitor with MWDs on. This is not even an MWD fit, and I'm still barely having a stable capacitor. So capacitor is definitely one of the banes of the ship. Okay, this is a bit. In general, we've had, got very easy waves here. We've got just rogue drones. We've got the sleeper frigates. Very easy, quick waves. Oh. You know, the RNG can also play into consideration how well you do the sites. 
can sometimes get like a really easy one. Sometimes you can get a really bad one. So that will play a lot into our survival chances when it comes to the T4s and T5s. Because it definitely seems like T3, absolutely no issue whatsoever. Absolutely no issue whatsoever. But then again, these are easy easy waves as well. You know, <laughs> if if we had hard, difficult, more difficult waves, maybe it would be a different story. But even then, the oh, this Omen is just amazing in terms of his timers. So it oh, nah, should not have any issue whatsoever. Okay, let's wavify this guy. <laughs> Do you see that boosting? Just crazy. Let's switch over to more short range now. Let's go to Imperial Name and Multi Frequency. Shoot that. I don't want to get too far away, that's the thing, because then we're going to be out of range. Oh, that guy went down hard. Let's, let's take out our drones. There's no DB automatic suppressors anyway, right? Yeah, yep, 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 no DB automatic suppressors. Okay, there's actually only one plate forger. Plate forgers actually, they, they, they're like the lucid preservers, they also heal them, so we'll take that out next, actually. Because the more healing they have, the quick, longer time is going to go, and we don't want that to affect the steel. Usually, I would be a really oh no, you know, orange cloud, right? But <laughs> there's no, it's a, it's an armor tank ship, so I don't have to think about that. It's a fun thing right there. Is usually I'm just so used to having to avoid these orange clouds, you always, preferably not to be in them. But it's just like oh, okay, I'm in an orange cloud. Who cares? Whatever. Ah, I, I, it's not affecting me at all. You see here, shield boosting penalties got those things to it. Shoot this, this. The rogue drones, they're cannibals. They like to eat my own drones. That's why you have to be careful, careful with your drones and the rogue drone waves, especially the battle drone battle cruisers, but also the rogue drone frigates can also attack your drones. They're not as harsh as the rogue drone battle cruisers, but still, just just be wary. Understand that the drones, they, the rogue drones, they don't like your own drones. They don't want to have competitors in, in the abyss. Definitely, it's not something they want to deal with. Okay, recall these drones right here. There we go. Go down very quickly. Mm hmm. I'm going to also tracking bonus actually will make it, it does do even more damage and even then even though i've got tracking oh it actually it's weapon disrupting that's why the fog cast is going to be weapon disrupting so it's going to make the range a bit worse yeah you can see that okay let's start with fighting this guy right here and go to the orange corner now, it's funny how this t3 is so easy i'm not even thinking much about it because i remember i tried to do back in the day when they had this old abyssal proving conduits you know it was t3 t4 t5 they had the abyssal proving conduits at the end then i would try to get an omen to get to do the proving conduits and it was just so hard to get through the t3s just i really whatever i did it was always impossible to get through the t3s and here it's just like breezing through like oh whatever <laughs> it's fun how it's just changing so much just because he just blinked the disc all right, that's the T3 done. T3 electrical done in the Omen. Next time, T4. Let's see if we survive that. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.